Hey guys, welcome back to another video. On my channel, we're back in the Bedrock Edition beta, and you hold glass very weirdly on Bedrock. So, we are obviously done with Christmas right now. Um, It is, as of recording this, there is a frog right there. As of recording this, I think it's like Christmas Day, maybe Christmas Eve. Uh, I think it's like just turn Christmas Day. And while these slimes are loud, I'm going to quickly just retreat and turn game sounds down a bit. So, I've turned them down a bit, just so it's not really loud. So yes, Christmas is now, well it's not over for me, it is over for you guys. So let me know, did you guys have a good Christmas? I hope everyone did. And I guess we're now obviously just waiting for the new year. I do have a few things planned going into the new year. I'm not going to reveal it just yet. It'll be in the video that gets published on the 30th, or 31st, 30th, whatever, the last day of uh, December. It'll be posted on and I'm now starving of hunger. So uh, the thing with these frogs is... They keep getting out of this enclosure. As you can see, I'm probably going to die, which you'll have to sort out if I do die. I'm hoping I don't. But yes, as you can see, the wall is now, what, one, two, three, four, five blocks tall. And they are still jumping out of it. Now, as you can see, they sometimes get stuck. And wow, that lightning was loud. They sometimes do get stuck, but they can still jump out of it. So the only thing I can think of doing is this. Basically, just have the glass going all like that. But as you can see, it don't connect to the leaves, so I don't know what I'm going to do in the case of um, having the leaves connecting to it. Maybe I might have to change the leaves out for a block that it does connect to. Because I don't know if the frog will be able to fit through that. I don't think it would be, but you never know with Minecraft. Either that, or I could just completely fill the roof in and not have the detailed texture in the actual ceiling. I'm not sure. I'm going to like think about it. But I'm on half a heart, and I need to go get some food. I have also set up like a starter base sort of thing, or it's not really, but I've set out the outline of it. So I'm going to quickly head to the surface to see if we can get some food real quick. Before I actually do that, I, if you do enjoy this video, then feel free to leave like and subscribe as it would really help out. And I'm trying to reach 1000 before the end of the year. We only have a few days left to do it. And I think we're like 70 away at the point of recording this or something. So we are quite close. Um, so what I'm going to do now. Is I quickly want to ditch all these bows away. And I also now. I did also go get loads of iron off camera. I went to the. um, What's it called? The iron ore vein I found. So let's quickly now make some iron armor. I'm not going to use this thing. Because that always confuses me on bedrock edition. And one thing I did learn. Is on bedrock it actually shows you the number. Next to it. So as you can see I can only craft one. In here. But because it crafts four. It tells you it, you can craft four. I found that weird. On Java, it does it depending on how many actually you have in your inventory. On Bedrock, it does it for how many it does craft. So if I had two logs, it would say eight right there, which is really weird. Anyway, I now have full iron armor. So let's quickly just throw that all on. And there we go. We should be protected a bit more. We also have three diamonds. I could, in theory, make a enchantment table. But then that means I'd have to go and find some obsidian somewhere, which I don't currently have any. Now, one thing I could do is I could quickly just get some glow berries to eat because obviously they uh, that is a food source. It's not a very good one, but it will at least get me up a few more hearts just in case it's nighttime. I can also maybe possibly go and try and sleep. Yeah, just so it's daytime when we go to the surface. So my goal in this video is to actually get a starter base ready or at least something done just so we have somewhere to move our chest, our bed and all that just so we can start making this area out here look a bit nicer. Don't forget if you want to be um, notified when the video goes live on the uh, last day of uh, uh, December, I think it's the 31st although I could completely be wrong on that. It might be the 30th, I don't know my days and I don't know how many months have what days. So the last day in uh, December, there will be a video that will have something in it that will be uh, the first time I've actually done it on the channel. So uh, make sure you actually uh, stay tuned for that. And it will last until I think like the 10th of January. So it will last for a while, but it's best to do it early so you don't forget. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly just gather some food. Then I'm going to head back down into the actual base and or back down into the cave so we can start the actual starter base because this the start of this video has been a bit all over the place my words have not worked because it's quite late now so i'm recording this a lot later than what the hell did i do that for i have no idea why i did that 
Um, I completely forgot I was on half a heart, and that is actually hurting my head. So, yeah, I just jumped to my death. That is, what, 25, 26 levels I've just lost, which absolutely sucks. But that is actually the first death on the world, I'm pretty sure. No, it's not. I think we died day one. I could be wrong. I'm not too sure. It's either the first, second, or the third. I'm pretty sure it's the first or the second. I think it's the first, but we might have died in, like, day one. I can't remember. I think we might have to, like, a creep or something. So where was that stuff? It was... Uh, don't say I've lost it. Was it over here a little bit more? I remember running. There's a cow right there. Did we, like, go up here? Uh, we jumped off like two or three blocks. It weren't a very tall thing we jumped from. Okay, our stuff is right here. I thought we might have actually lost that right there. Let's also put our armor back on. Collect all this stuff. I should have really like emptied my inventory before we came out. So, did we lose anything? Not that I can see. But I can't actually remember what I had in my inventory in the first place. So, I'm not too sure. There's quite a few animals spawning. But there's not many. Because frogs, I'm guessing they are in the same mob cap. As the other mobs, the frogs are taking up quite a lot of the mob cap as there's quite a lot of frogs anywhere, but barely any actual other mobs. So it's kind of annoying, but I guess we are going to have to just deal with it. There was like a cow or something I just saw here. Did it drown or something? I'm not too sure, but there was definitely a cow or something there a second ago. There is a pig over here. Let's quickly just go and kill. And then I think we're going to head out of the swamp to head to like the birch forest over there or something. Just so we don't have the frogs taking up the mob cap or anything. Okay, we're now back at the base. I had to start heading back because it was starting to get dark. And I didn't want to be out why there was loads of hostile mobs around. So I headed back here. And I now need to get them frogs back into the pen again. So let's see, what food did we get? We didn't get that much. We got 10, 11, 6 and 7. So yeah, it's not that much, but it will do for a little while. I don't know how good um, food and that lasts on Bedrock Edition. So, uh, I'm not sure how long this will actually last us. Let's quickly just ditch an inventory because I now want to actually craft, uh, or not craft, but I now want to start work on the actual base. So, let's quickly just get some wood, and I can also cut down this wood over here because I want to use stripped oak as that will be the good uh, border. And then we can obviously see what else we need when we get to that part. So, I do also quickly just want to eat something just so we're not walking around on low health. But before we do that, we can quickly just plant some trees and get a little bit more wood while we wait for the food to smell. So what I will now want to do is I quickly just want to get some... Uh, what block do I actually want to use? I don't want to use Deep Slate because Deep Slate is like all around us. Although it's like a different version of Deep Slate, I don't want to use it. So let's quickly just put that away. Maybe Calcite. I might quickly just go up to the Geode. And get some calcite as calcite is the uh, like a white block and I think the white will blend in really well and it also stand out in the actual di uh, deep. I was about to say dripstone caves. It's not. It's a deep slate cave. Okay, so I have some calcite. I also have some wood and I'm also smelting some what's it called uh, glass. So I'm also going to move this door. So let's really just build up three uh, oak logs and then I'm also going to have a oak log there. And also three oak logs going along here. But I also quickly just want to make sure all the oak logs are like facing upwards like this. Just so it looks a bit neater. And then I can also put oak logs here. Now these are going to be stripped. Uh, just because I want it to look like a hobbit sort of hole. I'm obviously going for a different uh, theme. And we're obviously inside of a cave. So that's what we're going to do. Our bases are going to be like scattered around the area. There will probably be like tunnels going from them or minecarts or something. Or I can just come out and walk to them. But in flat areas like that, uh, we're going to have like little holes like this. I've decided to have two on this wall just because these are going to be like the main ones. And then this one will also lead into our frog enclosure if we do ever need to go in there. Okay, the frog is actually helping us kill the slimes. And just as I start recording and say that, the frog does actually stop. Although there is a baby slime right here. I don't know why the frog isn't going for it. Uh, that's very weird. Uh, okay, I think the frog is now coming for it because they move a little bit quicker when actually uh, targeting towards slimes. Although you're very broken. I don't know why the frog's AI isn't actually trying to kill it unless another frog... No, another frog hasn't set its eyes on it. I'm just going to kill it. I don't know why the frog weren't actually doing it then. Now you want to come here and try and kill it. Okay, so we have, as you can see, now done the top part as well. 
I haven't actually finished it. I have just put the wood and we are missing a log right there. So we're going to do exactly the same right here. Just obviously upside down. And I don't think there's going to be a door on this one. It's going to be mainly like a window. Because we will be able to look over the actual cave from that one. So we're going to obviously dig this area out. This is going to be dug out as big as we can make it. And it also have a staircase going up to that one up there. So if I quickly just like start digging this one. So we now need to like align it to where we know we need it. So is this wall... Okay, this is the wall that actually shares for the frog enclosure. So really, the actual wall would have to go there for it. So it's two blocks. So let's quickly just go two blocks this way as well. Just so it's even. And then obviously we can go quite a few blocks back. Okay, so as you can see, I've now set the floor out. I'm just going to quickly bring the stairs around to there. And yeah, I still need to obviously do more. And I might even extend these walls up a little bit more. Let's quickly just break this down. I only built up there to see if there was a wandering trader up there. But it wasn't. It was only the llama. Let's now quickly... Why can't I break that block? Is it because the llama's on top of it? It is. Let's quickly just kill you as well. Because we uh, don't want you in the cave. There we go. So we're now starting to clean up the area. I do still want to go around and place a few more leaves. But I don't actually have many of them. Okay, I'm not going to be mining for long. Because I want to actually get some work done before I have to get this video ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mine for a little bit. Then I'm going to actually just cut ahead until I've done a little bit more work on the starter base. To try and get it a little bit more finished. Just so you guys get a better idea of what it would actually look like. And then I will obviously cut back in and show you what it does look like. Because I don't want to end the video and not get no work done. As the main goal for this video was to have some sort of starter base ready. So what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly jump down into this cave. Which this is actually quite a big cave if I remember. And yeah as you can see it is a very big cave. So let's jump down to the very bottom. I mainly am just looking for diamonds at this point. Just to see if there's any we can actually just pick up. Because we want to try and get diamond armor. And there's another geode right there, which is pretty cool. So, I'm just going to run around. There is quite a big, actually, lush cave. Like, this lush cave is a lot bigger than I actually thought it was. I thought it was, like, a quite small, disappointing one. But it actually goes on for quite some time. And there are actually more diamonds right here, which is good. So, how many are here? Two? Is that all? Nope, there's more sneakily hiding behind. Okay, that's four. Is there any more or just four? That's four. So how many do we have? We have 11. Then we have three back at the base. So that is 14 diamonds. That is actually probably enough to uh, uh, last us for now. Obviously more would be good. But it don't matter if we don't get any more. I think 14 is what? An enchantment table, a pickaxe. And then we can get like a sword and the basics from that. Okay, so I've been busy working on the actual base. And if I now quickly just build up. As you can see... It looks like that at the moment. It's still not completely finished. I still want to do a bit more work on it. Like add some maybe moss in the ceiling. Maybe add some moss in the floor. So it looks like it's spreading a bit more. I also obviously need to neaten up that area over there. But eventually this mossy walls and little houses. Is going to go all the way around this whole cave. That is my plan at least. So let's quickly just go show you what I've done on the inside. As I have done a little bit of digging. Not much because I was mainly working on the outside as I wanted to get the outside uh, pretty much finished. I haven't replaced all the actual deep slate with uh, moss. I have left a little bit here and there just so you can still see like as if the moss is slowly uh, taking over but it's not fully taken over. And obviously if we head inside you can see I've done a little bit of digging in here. And then if I head up here I did actually find more diamonds. I didn't want to mine them off camera. But I did find a few more diamonds. There's what one. Right there, then there's one there, one there. What is that, three more diamonds? Yes, it seems like it is. So that is the first starter base actually done. All I need to do is dig it out, decorate the walls, and then I can move in my chests, my bed, and stuff like that. I don't know where these wandering llama keeps coming from. They keep spawning somewhere, but I have no idea where. So, as you can see, that is what the base actually looks like. And I'm really happy with how it actually turned out. Obviously, there is some things I do still need to go and uh, adjust, like the transition from the uh, moss 
uh, or from the ceiling into the leaves. But anyway, that is where I'm going to end this video. If you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. And I guess I will see you guys in another video tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.